one, two, three, and so on. In mathematics, we call these natural numbers. But I was wondering, are they really natural? I mean, there could be an alien race that counts in a different way, or that doesn't count at all. Or are numbers so natural that they are innate to an intelligent being? Oddly enough, we don't have to wait for aliens to visit us, because there exist some tribes in Australia or in the Amazon with anomalic languages. That is, they have no words for numbers. And when I learned this, I was amazed, and I spent days trying to understand how it would be to live without numbers. For instance, think about it. Would a mother know how many kids she has? No, she can't count, but of course she knows who they are. Or even the concept of time should be entirely different. They cannot talk about three years ago or in two days. I got a whole thinking about how I would try to show them what numbers are. And this is what I came up with. I will ask them to imagine that this, a paperclip, is the only kind of object in the world. It can represent anything, a tree, a rock, a fish. Naturally, they can have another one, a fish and a fish. And that's how these tribes see it. But I would like to merge them somehow to create a larger group. Well, let's do this. Now, I have created a new object that didn't exist before, and that represents the new concept, fish, fish, to fish. Of course, I can repeat this process, and I would have the new concept, fish, 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 and so on. Well, this is exactly what we do in mathematics to construct the natural numbers, using what is called the Peano axioms. Five rules that go like this. First, there exists an initial object that begins the construction called number one. Second, we can always attach a paper clip at the end of the chain to obtain the next number. Third, we cannot attach the first one to the last one because we couldn't continue and there's a lot of numbers left. Fourth, we cannot add a paper clip to the middle of the chain because we want a queue with no bifurcation. And fifth, the tricky one, which is called the induction action. Roughly speaking, it tells us that every natural number is obtained through this attaching process. So we end up with a single infinite change of paper clips. These are the Peano actions. And they tell us that if we want to count in a sensible way, this is the only possibility. But I still wonder, are numbers really natural? Is it so strange that these tribes don't count? Or maybe what should be surprising is that we use numbers at all. In order to answer these questions, I'm afraid that we need more data. For instance, we could retrieve it asking some aliens how they count. So if you know any, please let me know. I'm counting on you. That was great, really interesting, actually. <laughs> I didn't know that there were tribes that didn't use numbers. Um, and what about children and children as they're learning numbers? How, how do you see them using this model? Uh, well, this, it, this is a model that I don't know if it's the most useful, I, it's the, the one that I like. But for instance, uh, in children it's nice because um, numbers is a very abstract concept that they don't really get. But for instance, they understand pretty well what is called bijection. Like if you ask to, can you put the table for the whole family? Maybe they don't know how many there are, but they know, okay, there is one plate for mom, one for dad, one for my sister, one for my brother. And this is a bijection. And this is something which is quite abstract, but seems to be like very innate to children, and this is pretty nice, and, and numbers are not. So maybe a good way is also talking about this kind of bijections. Understanding numbers, but okay, if I have a brother, a mother, and a sister, that's three, and I can biject, which is called in mathematics, with number three. Another way would be like that, that I like because they're giant paper clips, and <laughs> they're cool. I don't know if that answers your question. Yeah. yeah. You asked if there were any aliens around. We kind of do have aliens because there are non-human animals that we know have some sense of counting and numeracy. Yeah. How, how do you think that plays into your kind of ideas about Well, it's, it's pretty numbers. interesting. Uh, there are, for instance, it's, it's well known that some parrots uh, are able to do like simple maths. Uh, it is a still a question of huge debate, I think, among the experts about if they are understanding what they're doing. And, and this is something I don't feel com confident to say, but I will say that they do understand. Sometimes they say, okay, just, just ring the bell, Two plus three, you have to ring the bell five times and whatever. But uh, some people would say, okay, they have just learned that every time that you say two and three, they will ring the bell five without understanding what they're doing. But I don't know, I would like to think that they are understanding. So yeah, that I would say, yeah. Okay, parrots can't just do simple maths, they can do polynomial equations. <laughs> Poly oh, never mind. Okay, <laughs> will he be numbered among our winners? Please thank Juan Margalef. <laughs> <laughs>